What up, what up? It's your boy Iceberg Slim, and you are watching Nigeezy Extreme. I got food if this just the other day. You ain't getting money, get away from me. My journey in the music started a very long time ago. I was born and raised in New York, and there I attended a CAC church where I joined the choir when I was about seven years old. After that, I started playing the drums, and then I then learned how to play the keyboard. And that kind of gave me a background knowledge about music. And my dad also used to play a lot of Sunny Ade, Felao, Bissere around the house. So all of those things, like putting, putting them together, it just gave me knowledge about Nigeria, gave me knowledge about Nigerian music as a whole. Tight sauce. Tell me if you want to taste the white sauce. The difference between the American music industry and the Nigerian music industry is I mean, a clear difference is just structure. Um, but I, I, I'm proud that Nigeria is learning every day and we're improving in so many different things. But in the American music scene, there's a lot of structure and it's more order. You got a man. I just want to make you ride like the Akata man. Well, the message in the song Oluwa is basically me crying out to God and seeing to bless the works of my hands and to bless my hustle that I've been working hard, but I haven't received my breakthrough. I haven't broken free from this thing that's holding me back, whatever it is. And I wanted something that could portray that, but not be the everyday, you know, rags to riches story. I decided to shoot it there because it's also where they had the slave trade in Ghana and I felt the song was synonymous with a message portraying slaves because slaves wanted to break free, slaves wanted to break through, you know, they wanted to be out of that condition that they were in and it's basically in line with the song just saying I want to break free, I want to break through and that's why I chose it and it's a beautiful location. In 2018, it's all about consistency for me because as I said, I've been off and on the scene for some time and it's all about consistency and Nigerians, they need to see me, you know, being more serious with my music and just putting out more music, more material. They have to keep seeing me, keep hearing me in order for them to actually take me serious as an artist, as a musician. So for 2018, it's all about consistency, just back to back music. My relationship with Julia Ibrahim, that is my girlfriend. We're not married. Um, she was the producer for my video, Oluwa. So basically she got the casting crew, she secured the location and the props. So she was the producer for that video. The director was Famous Films. So that's why you saw her behind the scenes. Our relationship is real, it's not for publicity or whatever people want to call it. My take on celebrity relationships is nothing different from every other relationship because at the end of the day, you're still two human beings who care about each other and who love each other and that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, before we're in a celebrity relationship, we're both celebrities, so we're both known. So either she's criticized for something or I'm criticized for something. As a celebrity, you have to develop thick skin towards those things. So once you become numb to those things, whatever you do as a celebrity, it's, it shouldn't phase you what people have to say or anything like that. So at the end of the day, as I said, it's just two people in a relationship. Everyone has an opinion about everything and anything and it doesn't change anything about us. I don't, I don't believe in love at first. I, I just believe you have to get to know someone and just basically understand someone and see how you two can work together or just be happy together. That's what a relationship is. I don't believe in love at first sight. My advice for upcoming artists 
like I want to be like Iceberg Slim, I would say don't try to be like Iceberg Slim. Be like yourself. But the number one thing is always put God first. The number two thing is this thing doesn't happen overnight. Put work in it. There has to be sacrifice. You have to put your blood, sweat, and tears into this thing. It's not easy, but if you have a passion for it and if it's your destiny, it will happen. Just trust God, and trust the process, trust the grind. I know we join them, fast life, no be enjoyment. Oh Lord, who are here, right here. The blessings they come my way. Uh, bad gang, I know we join them.